Hi, I'm Chris Anderson at the EE Web Tech Lab. Today I'll be reviewing the Regal DSA 1030A Spectrum Analyzer. The Regal DSA 1030A Spectrum Analyzer is a 9 kHz to 3 GHz analyzer. It has Ethernet and USB connectivity, as well as a VGA output port. It sells for just under $5,000. As you might notice, this analyzer's user interface is very similar to other higher priced analyzers. When you bring the analyzer up, all of your frequency settings are readily available. If you would rather work in span mode, you can zoom in your span, you can zoom out your span, you go to zero span or full span. All this is very quick, one touch, easy to set. It's just as easy to set your different trace modes or your different detectors. And while we're here, one thing I really like about this analyzer is that if you change your detector or, or most other settings, you'll see that it changes over here. And these status indicators are always available. They're always on the screen. So, for example, this is your detector indicator. Right now it's set to negative peak. If I change that to positive peak, you'll see that change. No matter where I am in the instrument, those status indicators are always there. If I need to change my vertical scale settings, those again are all right here. I can change my units to all the normal units that you see. This also has a built-in preamp which can help with some low-level signals. It also has built-in correction settings. So if you have correction files for an antenna, a cable, or really anything, as long as it's formatted properly, this analyzer can bring those in and it can correct your data live in real time. And configuring this analyzer is simple and intuitive. To access your marker functions, press the marker button and you'll see exactly what you would expect. You can also bring up a marker table and you can add markers if you need to have more markers. And so you can see all these markers updating in real time. If you need a bigger readout, if you have all the markers turned on, you can swap this and you can full screen your marker table. It's a little bit easier to read. Once you have them set up, you don't necessarily need to see the full spectrum display. Now, obviously I don't have a signal on here right now, but if I did, and, and I wanted to zoom in on that signal, for example. Let's turn off this marker. And let's just go back to marker one. I could use the peak search function, and that's going to take me to the highest peak signal. And then I can say marker, set to center frequency. I could go back to my span, and I could zoom in on that signal, or even just set it straight to zero span. In conclusion, the Regal DSA 1030A has a menu and button layout very similar to Agilent's. Status indicators are always on the screen. An optional battery pack makes it portable, and it comes in at less than half the price of competing analyzers. For more videos and other EE content, go to eeweb.com.